Hi, today we're going to be factoring by grouping four term polynomials. Let's get started. So before we go and do some examples, I want a quick review of some terminology. So the GCF or GCD, if you remember, stands for the greatest common factor. Or if it's GCD, greatest common divisor. So we want to find the GCD of 3 and 6 as a quick review. So what is what are the factors or divisors of 3? Well, they're 1 and 3. What are the factors in, or divisors of 6? It's 1, 2, 3, and 6, okay? Now, which one is, what is the greatest common factor of these two sets of numbers? Well, it's 3. So the GCD of 3 and 6 is 3. Nice. Now, let's go on to factoring by grouping. And I think the best way to learn factoring by grouping is by doing examples. Okay, so let's give give it a shot. So we have the expression 5x cubed plus 20x squared plus 4x plus 16. Okay, so our first step is to divide it up into the first two terms and the last two terms, okay? So we're going to deal with these separately, so we might as well draw a line between these two at first. And what we're going to do to the first two terms is we're going to find the greatest common uh, factor of these two and take it out. So we have 5x cubed plus 20x squared. Now we realize they both have an x squared in them. And they both have a factor of 5 in them. So the greatest common divisor is 5x squared. So we factor that out and we get x plus 20 divided by 20x squared divided by 5x squared is 4. So we get 5x squared times x plus 4. Now let's do it for the last two terms. So 4x plus 16. So 4x plus 16. Realize that they each have a factor of 4 and that is the GCD. So we have 4 times x plus 4. Now we're going to combine back these two equations. So we have 5x squared times x plus 4 plus 4 times x plus 4. Now realize they both have an x plus 4. So we can factor out x plus 4. And then we are left with x plus 4 times 5x squared plus 4. How cool is that? Well, let's do one more example to really hit it home and make sure we understand it. So we have now 4x cubed plus 4x squared plus x plus 1. Again, we're going to divide it up into the first two terms and the last two terms. And we might as well draw a line down it. So our first one is 4x cubed plus 4x squared. Realize that they both have a 4x squared in them. So we're going to factor out the 4x squared, we are left with x plus 1, so 4x squared times x plus 1. And the one on the last two terms are, is x plus 1, um, but realize they don't have any greatest common factors, so we're just going to leave it at x plus 1. And we're going to rewrite it, so we have 4x squared times x plus 1 ta um, plus x plus 1. And realize they both have factors of x plus 1. So we're going to rewrite this as x plus 1 times 4x squared plus 1. And this is our solution. Okay, so I hope that helped, and I hope to see you soon.